an unknown number calls you you don't have their name added on the contact list and yet their screen name still displays on your smartphone we are all familiar with this because we may have installed an app called true call on our phone well the government by itself is now proposing to build a functionality where you don't need an app like true caller this is being proposed by the telecom regulatory authority of india or trai we refer to it at our office as tri caller and we have given it this nickname my name is apar gupta and i'm the executive director of the internet freedom foundation and today i'm here to talk about a consultation paper which has been published by tri what has been iff's response and why you need to know a little more about tri caller now this proposal uh, looks to create what is called as cnap which is calling name presentation which allows the caller's name to be displayed automatically on the recipient's phone whether or not they have their name and their number stored within their address book on their smartphone and there are four models which have been proposed to build this uh, cnap service while all models require your telecom operator somebody like bharti airtel or jio to extract data from a database which will contain both a number and a name the models mainly differ in who creates and manages this database who has access to it the first two models each telecom operator maintains its own database of its own subscribers while the third and fourth models involve a third party operated centralized database which will be timely updated by the telecom operator now while there are serious concerns of many of our tele telephone users including me being susceptible to robo calls spam calls and fraudulent calls which causes so much inconvenience we think the cnap may not be such a great idea without a functioning and a robust data protection law it may create additional databases and information sharing it will result in increase in the amount of personal information that is stored on every indian who owns a telephone or broadband connection now without a proper data protection system in place to safeguard your personally identifiable data such an operation such a cnap database may have the likelihood of attracting malicious actors causing data leaks and breaches which could result in in fact increased spam and this could particularly be problematic if the service is mandatorily activated as it would not give users the option to opt out or opt in as per the comments which have also been made in this consultation by the consumer unity and trust society cuts a civil society organization somewhat like a think tank they have stated that quote there's reliability safety safe keeping and verification of information provided in customer acquisition forms is faulty these customer acquisition forms essentially are the papers you signed when you got your first mobile connection a lot of us may have given the wrong uh, uh, identification incomplete identification it may have been signed up by a friend or family member may not have been updated and this is the field of data which will be used ordinarily by telecom operators to populate this database it indeed makes our name come across inaccurately and without a data protection law how will it be corrected will there be proper remedies provided we will be essentially locked to whatever identity is displayed on another person's smartphone because of his database So in our comments submitted to the tri consultation paper we have recommended several mechanisms and suggestions how this can be made better how it can be privacy oriented in as much our first recommendation is that there should be a data protection law the first is it should be an opt in process that there should be a clear description of the benefits potential privacy implications to each user who wants to opt into this service they should be made aware of it second there needs to be written consent which needs to be a form of agreement in which terms and conditions are outlined where we can approach for remedies if these terms and conditions are breached and this consent can also be activated through offline and online measures where we can check a box any time to opt in or opt out also so it's very important that consent is obtained clearly unambiguously and continuously and if we do not want to be identified at a certain point in time we should have the ability of actually taking back our consent we also recommend that additional clarity and control must be provided to the users for the part of the service they opt for there must be a distinction between activating cnap phone incoming and outgoing calls separately now after we give these comments what does trai do 
TRI studies all these submissions, publishes them publicly, but also then formulates recommendations after a certain point in time. These recommendations are sometimes flowing into amendments which may be made in license agreements between the Department of Telecom and your telecom operator, regulations which may be made under different branches of law, either by TRI or by the Department of Telecom, or TRI may even do another consultation on a subtopic or a subcategory on the technical implementation of a wider consultation. So we're still awaiting what happens here. In the meantime, if you still feel that a database which is being created, which has your personal identifiable information is no big deal because so many exist. And there isn't anything to hide from the government because it has our best intentions at heart. Do check out our video on the nothing to hide argument and an in-depth discussion on the right to privacy and what it means for you. Also, I would encourage you to support IFF in its mission to promote and advocate for a democratic digitization in India, which respects our digital rights, in which we work through advocacy to in fact reform the legal processes, policy processes, and make sure that the internet, as well as any other technology, which in fact determines each part of our existence in India today respects the constitution of India. The donation link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching.